My next guest is, without doubt, still one of the biggest stand-up comedians this country has ever produced, and he hasn't really done any for four years. It is Mr. Peter Kay. Seven, seven years. 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 Now, since Peter was last on the show, he's had another son. So he now has two kids, aged five and three, mm -hmm. which I think explains his recently announced string of dates uh, called the Anything to Get Out of the House Tour. <laughs> <laughs> two years. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Kay on the show as well. There you go. We couldn't be happy that he's back with us. Thank you, Peter. And we have absolutely first... <laughs> uh, but, you know, I do feel a little firmer. I do feel a little firmer. Uh, and you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> just not funny. Uh, well, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Well, you just lied to script. Care yeah. Careful, Clarkson. Watch out for your hips, Grandpa. Just it, stop it! <laughs> Make it stop. Just say, introduce me, quickly. Uh, no. <laughs> I think up. Lawrence, we fell up. Um, but Lawrence, how come you still look cool on it? <laughs> You're still looking cool. <laughs> That's what, that's what Peter looks when he's going on on the train to Bolton. Look at that. <laughs> 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 it is both. It is both right. giving an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get my first guest out? <laughs> he is the biggest thing to come out of Bolton since... Actually, I think he's, he's the biggest thing to come out of Bolton. It's Mr <laughs> Peter Kay, ladies and gentlemen. I You've got a firm grasp. I've got a firm grasp. I'm Catholic. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <laughs> you don't go to church. Do I you? don't go to church. No, I'm an agnostic. Are you? Yeah. I'm Capricorn. Fella <laughs> <laughs> says to his wife, "Why don't you tell him when you are going?" She said, "I don't like ringing you at work." <laughs> <laughs> You love it, don't you? I do love old it. Old school. I like old school. Old school. Hey, speak of old school. I a pizza last night. He asked for a thin and crusty supreme. They sent me down to Ross. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> then you wonder why I'm back on tour. <laughs> uh, well, you haven't been on tour for se is it seven, seven years? Seven years, then? yeah. Wow. Okay, are you at all nervous? Are you worried about? Of course, uh... I'm shitting a brick. No, really. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it, tour. <laughs> <laughs> the Knives Are Out tour, we're going to call it. No, I'm going back on nights. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been seven years, yeah. But I've had two children. Yeah. And I didn't want to miss the time being with them, so it's been lovely. Well, and I thought a... I don't want... And I wrote this book, this one all about stand-up, and it got me thinking again. I'd love to do it, because I, I didn't enjoy it first time round. I was too busy trying to pay my tax. Uh, <laughs> so the, the tour is called... Cool. The tour now, is called... a weird cool. thing. You're not touring, or are you touring? Well, what? the thing is, I haven't done it for seven <laughs> years, so I thought, it's like putting your foot in an hot bath. Yeah. And I thought I would see how it went. And I thought, I'll take it slow and I'll just do Manchester, the arena. I used to work there as a steward. And I thought I'd, it'd be nice to play there. I could see my house roof. <laughs> so it was called the tour that doesn't tour tour. So you're not going to tour? Because, yes. the, well, this was the thing. And I put four nights on. And then at three minutes past eight, they said they've gone. And then at 20 past eight, they said 14 nights have gone. Wow. And then so there's 20 now. So, but I'll still be on for Dexter, so that's yeah. not bad. <laughs> but, the, um, but now, because of all that, and I, honestly, I was a bit apprehensive because it had been seven years and things change. I thought <laughs> I would... Um, and then, so, it, so now everything's rushing around. I'm gonna, the, the tour that doesn't tour to is going to tour. <laughs> so, what, what, so... What do you now call it? It's called the tour that doesn't tour to her, now on tour. Oh. <laughs> so you know you, you, you know you're hitting the ground running, you know you can do it, so you're out there, you're having a good time. Yeah, but I've got to go out and try new stuff from January. I'm not, I'm going to, I've loads of stuff. I've always kept writing in the last um, seven years. I've written loads of stuff. Things that, you know, that you'll find funny. Just things that come out like, oh, what were this week? I remember when, oh, 
sounds like I'm into incest now, but... <laughs> it's, um, when you're a kid, if my sister wanted a bath or anyone wanted a bath in our house, first of all, you put your immersion on. You put it about four hours before you wanted a bath. <laughs> and then you'd, be, you'd say, having a bath? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll get in your water. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be like, that's what you did, you'd get in the water. You and said. then mum would come up with a kettle and she'd tip it in and say, sit back! <laughs> and she'd put a was on her water. Ah! And then she'd, you know, a bit of matey. Give yeah. it a shake, <laughs> and that way, the and then, then someone else freshen it up. Yeah, and then yeah. Christmas Eve, we got uh, Imperial Leather had come out. Christmas Eve, <laughs> so, oh, did you have Imperial Leather? And, uh, and then that, and they've thought you. If you went upstairs, oh, these are posh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Imperial yeah. Leather. Yeah. And then you go around at Lent, and there's just a sticker left and a bit of soap on the knee. Don't forget you were. Out of Why it. did they put stickers on soap? It was just to see. Imperial Leather was. And you remember the advert? Of course, it was a it classic. It was a family thing. on a train, and they got Imperial Leather delivered when they were on the train. <laughs> Do you remember that? They were on the train, and it was. Imperial Letters arrived. Uh, and they're like, well, I'm not. Uh, but you just uh, you, you just seem to remember all the things you you saw on TV as a kid. You have like, do you have a not a photographic memory, but a kind of the equivalent? You I just, just love telly. You're the same. I, I love, love telly. I love love. But it you you remember stuff. So I don't remember it all. You remember all the themes. You remember all the shows you've seen. I, think. I didn't. I, I didn't waste my evenings. <laughs> I didn't go out. I taped all the themes, and I always taped television programs, and I remember them. And, um, yeah, I loved... I really used to get excited about television. I don't as much anymore. You change as you get older. But, you know, I still get excited about some shows, and sometimes a new show come along, and I, I won't expect to have it, and I will fall in love with it. I mean, I, I, oh, I, yeah, I do... Oh, yeah, all them box sets and stuff. But yeah. I love CSI at the moment. CSI yeah. is great I'm fun. I'm a bit behind. I get, I get them on the... I get these box sets and watch a load, and then one finishes, you go, put another one on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're so good American programmes. Prison Break. Yeah, I watched all that and it went down a bit and then it come back again in the yeah. end. Well, don't tell me because I'm still in the down bit. I want to get back into it. Where are you? Are you in the... I'm at the beginning of season two. Was it called Sauna? Are you in Mexico? No, don't tell me they go to all Mexico. Right. You ruined the bloody thing. They're still oh, in yeah. jail. I didn't even know they got out. Why are you on season one? Well, the bloke got out and had his hand sewed back on by a vet. Oh, that was it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael's not died then I yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask you about Christmas. No. Um, hey. You, hey. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? How's it, hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Face. OK. How's it doing? Hey, Peter K. How are you going? Right, listen. What? I want to give... Do you want to play a little game with me? Yeah, let's play some games. OK. This is a little bit... <laughs> no, because I know you love games. theme tunes and you go... I put some on this machine here and I thought I would check Jess to see if you could tell what they were. You ready? Go on, let's go. have a listen then. Right. <laughs> Terry and June. Blimey, that was quick. Friday night, 7 o'clock, replaced by Wogan. What is this? Shoestring. Wow, you're good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Trevor Eve don't remember shoestring, and he read it. You <laughs> <laughs> know what my dad used to call shoestring? What? Scruffy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Scruffy bastard's on. Uh, uh... Play a bit more, hang on. Oh, hey, you're a, a smack, because you've got Oh, no, I only heard a smack, yeah. So, come on, you know what it is. No, that's not me swimming. That's a boat going across the sea and back again. What were it? What is it? Triangle. Triangle? Yes, triangle. Put it balls triangle. <laughs> that's not triangle. <laughs> did, it, did it? Well, they must have blown all the budget on the thing. <laughs> because they run across Channel Ferry. <laughs> that's that. semi American, that. That's triangle. Go on. You'll know this one. Go on. Young Moon, moon, moonlighting. Moonlighting. Monday nights, nine o'clock. I just two. need the name of the song. <laughs> It's I like nice. to give you that. I, it's nice, but I don't need the schedule. You know, I like the schedule. What was on the other side when Moonlight was on? If it I was bet a you Monday know, night, you know. If I bet a Monday you... night, boon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it got so many viewers. So what else uh, would you want to know? I did a video and it's gone to number one. <laughs> it's, uh... Let me ask you a question about it. Let me ask you well, a question. let's cut to the chase. People want to know about that. Let's show a clip of it. It's absolutely fantastic. Let me ask the question. Children in need. Children in need. Go and buy it. Congratulations. Yeah. On having a number one single for Children in Need. Thank you very it much. It is a then. fantastic achievement. And that video, I was looking at it, I thought... First of all, I thought it was uh, all CGI. It was, like, computer generated. But it's not. They're actual figures. They're actual puppets and movies. Yeah, they're all stop animation puppets. And it took uh, two years of writing and begging people if we could make it. Wow. 
Let's have a look at uh, a clip if you haven't seen it, because I hadn't seen it until I knew you were coming on the show, and then I watched it and fell in love with yeah, it. Yeah, because you like that, don't you? It's a beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. He's just playing to car park, put his DVD on. <laughs> <laughs> he loves CSI. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here, let's have a look at... This is the Children in Need single. It's a, it's a wonderful piece of work from Mr Peter Kay. Look at this. If you haven't got a copy already, go and buy one. I haven't bought one yet. I, yeah. I should admit that I'm gonna. You can do it download and pay like that you for can, children. You need, can do you? it download and pay like I'm that. I'm gonna do that. I don't know you do that. I'm gonna, you're on my iPhone, and pay it, you know what I'm that's doing. That's what you want to do. I'm going for it. Yeah, but that's what you did. That's what you did. You know what? It was an iPhone. You put that back. Times six on your Sky Plus. And that's what you'll get back. <laughs> hey. 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 How you doing? What are you? What are you going to do next? What's you know what I'm going to do next? What's I'm, this is an exclusive. What's the future for Peter Cahill? I'm, I'm going on tour. Yes, of course. The tour yeah, that doesn't tour, not tour, touring on no tour. No, on tour. And then I'm going to remake Die Hard. That's a natural fit right there. I can see why they would ask you to do that. I've been to see 20th Century Fox in London. For and real? I've had a, this is for, this oh, this is is for, for real. real. This is a dream I have had for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to remake Die Hard. It's called... Uh, hang on, let me just think of it. I'm... Cos I'm, I'm not told anybody and you're pissing yourselves laughing. <laughs> That's right. You should give Die well hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it's set in Manchester. <laughs> and I'm going to be a security guard, John McLean. I get picked up at Manchester Airport, and my wife's in the Beetham Tower in Hilton Hotel <laughs> with the. Uh, um... All right, love, laughing at me. <laughs> It's a comedy. It is a comedy. I really want to make it, and I want to make it. So, you, are you going to do some stunts and some action scenes? I there? want it to be exactly the same. All the FBI guys are all like Manchester Police. Yeah. Everything. It's all. Yeah. Done, it's it's a... all. It's script word for word. <laughs> Well, I'm even going to try and get Alan Rinkman to be the baddie again. <laughs> and I'm John McLean, and, I, and it's just, oh, what's going on? I'm stuck up here now. Is no one taking me seriously? <laughs> I'll show him. Yippee-ki-yay, <laughs> And I'm going to get me sure and put <laughs> Sentex around it. it I'll show yeah. you. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> all kicking off up here. And, and Nakatomi told me Plaza, I've shit him. <laughs> I am deadly serious, though. Well, can I have a I would small, love to could do I it. play one of the bad guys in it? You, what, I could play the German. Remember the guy with the long you hair? You could do him, the German I could be guy. Him, I go, hey, what are you the doing what? over there? Come here. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, what's Oh, hey. you've got it all wrong and you're ruining it. <laughs> you're not, if you're a German, you're a German. You're not from Moscow. I'm not German. I'm, a, German. I'm from Manchester. I, oh, hey, come here. But you know you've got any, but you, you want me to do German then? Do it in German, don't do it in Geordie. Was is done John McLean, was is lost? Yes. <laughs> Where is the Semtex? Was in them Semtex? Yeah, that's it. Handy hot. And then I get you out of the No, you don't get me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> I'll tell you! Hilfenia. Semtex, is that what you want, Semtex? Hilfenia. Mm, mm. I might be a security uh, guard, but I'm not taking any shit, all right? I'm actually losing... I'm actually losing consciousness there. You actually... You pinched the nerve, I started blacking well, it. Well, I'm getting it. I'm giving you, it... Lawrence does a bit of that. All you... All you care about method is acting. getting a You didn't care about my comfort. You're not... <sighs> you're not a sensitive lover. So let me come down a minute, now. <laughs> all right, Peter, Peter. Die well, lad. <laughs> Hang on. You saw it here first. Die well hard. The cinema's for Friday. <laughs> well done for coming back on. I love having you on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, after the music, we are going to race backstage. We're going to have Peter versus Lawrence versus Jeremy versus me versus... I think it's Matt from Muse is yeah, going to join in. We're going to have a race after the music, so don't go anywhere. But thank you to all my guests. Of course, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, Jeremy Clarkson and the fabulous Peter Catty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Peter, thank you very much. Peter Kay. Thank you. Come here, I'll do you. Come on. Peter Kay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's, a, that's a lot. That's a lot of man. That's a, that's a lot of man, right there. Uh, that's uh, all our guests for this.